Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to fix the Photoshop graphics processor not detected. I'll walk you through four methods to solve this problem. So let's get started. First, close the Photoshop and then go to the search menu. Here in the search bar, type Graphic Settings. Open Graphic Settings and click on the Browse option under the Custom Apps option. Next, go to the drive C, then Program Files. Then open the Adobe folder and select Adobe Photoshop. Once Adobe Photoshop is selected, click on Options and set the graphic preference to High. Click on Save to save the changes. If your graphics processor is still not being detected, go back to the drive C, then Program Files, then open the Adobe folder and select Adobe Photoshop. Scroll the folder and locate a file named Sniffer. This file checks for your graphics processor. Left-click on it and select Run as Administrator. This should fix the issue of the graphics processor not being detected. Another fix is to locate Photoshop's Sniffer file again by navigating to the Photoshop installation folder, finding the file named Sniffer, and either cutting it and moving it to another location or deleting it. After doing this, restart Photoshop and check if the problem is solved. Another method you can try is to go to the search menu and type Graphic Settings. Open Graphic Settings and click on the Browse option under the Custom Apps option. Then go to the Drive C, then Program Files, open the Adobe folder and select Adobe Photoshop. Scroll down and locate Photoshop Prefs Manager. Select it and click on the Add option. Next, click on Options and set the Graphic Preference to High. Click on Save to save the changes. To check if the issue is fixed, open Photoshop, go to Edit, then click on Preferences and select Performance. Now you will see that the graphics processor is detected and is not greyed out. If this video helped you out, make sure to join the Show Me Software free newsletter. It's linked in the description below. In this newsletter, I will tell you about the latest software tools and AI that can make you more productive at work and also improve your personal life in many different ways. You can also reply to these emails with any technical support questions you might have, and I'll do my best to help you out for free. This newsletter is completely free and will always be free. So click the link in the description to sign up.